All right, what's up, Charm City One Eight Seven? Uh, I figured I'd give you all my thoughts on the Madden Thirteen demo. Uh, surprisingly, it's actually pretty good. You can either be the Giants or the Forty Niners or the Salt, the Hawks, Seahawks, or the Redskins. Um, I chose the Forty Niners, and I don't know. I, I this is like the first game I ever played of the demo. So, since I've played this game, I've been every team, so... Uh, first thing I notice is they changed the kick meter back to, I think, I guess it would be 2010, 2011. Uh, it's just the right stick. I really don't like that because in online play, it's gonna be damn near impossible to get any good power on the ball. Uh, they basically kept the same intros like after you kick off the ball it's either they show the little uh stat thing of your quarterback or it shows the co the coach smacking him on the ass while he's running out they changed the intro to the game a little bit like if you actually sit there and watch the whole intro but i mean that's basically it uh you're the players it seems like they're a lot faster than they used to be Shit, when I, uh, when I get a kickoff when I was the 49ers with Ted Ginn, I couldn't get anywhere because as soon as I'd catch the ball and start running, I was running into my, uh, blockers and, like, I don't know, I just didn't like that. And a lot of the times it, like, looks like you're getting tripped. Like, if you, like, stiff arm somebody and get past them, you see, like, their legs, like, shoot out and trip you up. And then you fall on the ground. Uh, so far, like the best passes I've seen that I that I've been able to do is either quick outs or streaks. Uh, in Madden 12, it was the slant. Uh, I've been trying to uh, see if I can get the slant working, but I can't get shit done with the slant. But all is uh, like with the 49ers, all his Moss needs is one step. And you can just throw a streak to him, and it's going to be a touchdown every time. But yeah, I mean, I mostly I like it. Like they actually did some new shit. It feels I don't want to say it feels more realistic because it's not. It, like I don't I don't even know how to explain. <laughs> you see him right there get tripped. I don't even know how to explain it. This is one thing they still didn't fix. Alright, it's third and seven. Incomplete pass. They challenge it. The booth challenges it because it's under two minutes left in the quarter. Or in the half. It's still third and seven. He's obviously out of bounds. They keep it at third and seven, but it says the play is overturned. Like, that's been happening in Madden for years, and they still haven't changed it. Well, they still haven't gotten it right, you know? When offense to, like, uh, pump fake and shit, they made it to where you have to hold L1, and then whatever button your receiver is, you tap that button, and it does the pump fake. But I didn't like it, because when I tried pump fake in a couple times like I'd hold L1 and I'd hit the receiver I wanted to throw it to and then like three or four seconds later it would do the pump fake and I was like I was like already getting hit before I even started doing the fucking pump fake but yeah I think they made uh the offense like I think they're overpowered like I think I only get one interception this game and I probably could have got like five or six. It's just my guys kept dropping the ball. Like it would hit them right in the face, right in the chest, right in the hands several times. And I think I only caught one of them. Coming up here is uh, how easy it is to throw a streak. It's not this one. It's the next one. Uh, next play is a streak to Moss. I wanted to get off, get off the left hash. I wanted to give Moss some room to work. 
What was that? 77 yard touchdown pass. So easy to streak people. Like, there's nothing, there was nothing the defense could do to stop that, you know? And it's probably, there's probably going to be two or three, probably two receivers on every team that you can do that with. Here, I should have caught the ball, but somehow I managed to drop it. Quick out. I think that's probably going to be one of the best plays. Because even if there's a guy in the flat, if you send the outside wide receiver on a streak, he's going to follow the outside receiver on the streak, which is going to open up the uh, the uh, qu the quick out for the slot receiver or the tight end, whoever you got there. All right, so, so here is one thing I don't like about the defense. You can hold L2, and it'll bring up a thing that says run left, run right, run or pass. If you guess, it just, like, way overcompensates. Like, if you saw right there, my whole entire team ran, like, three yards forward going after the run. And then, and then drop back into coverage. You'll get to see it a couple more times here. There isn't like I have had so many opportunities to catch tipped passes, and never haven't caught one. Here's another one. I do the run defense, but I did the middle run, not the uh, right side run. You'll see here. Let me see if I do it here. Yeah, run right. Watch my whole line and my linebackers. You see that? See how far they ran to the right. And I like how they uh, made it to where you can actually play the whole fucking game in demo. I was getting tired of that two minute half just playing the third and fourth quarters, two minutes each one. So they finally made it to where you can play the whole thing. After the game, you can share the game to Facebook or Twitter. I just shared mine to Facebook because I have my PlayStation linked with my Facebook. I was thinking about sharing it to Twitter, but I decided uh, not to because I don't want to give EA my fucking email and password. Fuck that. But, yeah. Alright, I'm out.